Hey everyone, it's Jack Kuki again. I'm back with another 1500 scale airliner review, and today we're going to be looking at the Deutsche British Airways Boeing 737 300 Puma, as in, you know, Puma shoes. And this one is number, let's see, it's catalog number 501460. The registration is D A G E K. And again, it comes in the Puma livery. It's a limited edition. Uh, this one is number 1348 out of however many. Uh, it doesn't say how many they made. Probably about two or three thousand I would imagine. Could be one thousand. They kind of, they, they do weird stuff like that. But there it just says limited edition. And, you know, just, and that's the price I think I paid for it, but that it's been some some time. Oh, and uh, yeah, what is it? Uh, a skew tailor is uh, actually a very good, very good eBay seller. So if you get on there, you got really good shipping rates and um, pretty fair. That them, uh, those guys, and the uh, history store are pretty good. But there is the plane. Okay, I'm gonna shake. I'm gonna scratch my wrist so the camera's gonna shake a little. All right, but anyway, there's the there's the plane, and it does say "Willkommen zum Fußball" on it. And do a zoom in here. And you can see where it says that "Willkommen zum Fußball." Fussball, as some idiots would say. You know, puss ball. But anyway, there it is with the old. You can see the nose on there. Not too happy with that, but I have to excuse them because, you know, they were just. I don't know. I, I, th I think this mold wasn't very old when this one came out. But Herpa definitely needs to redo their 737 300 mold. But there it is. It says Puma over there. You can see it underneath the windows. Um, registration there with the German flag. DBA on the tail. The tail is plastic. See the flydba.com on the engine. I like how they did the the door outlines in green. I thought that was that was pretty cool. Let's see here on the box. Yeah, the the real ones actually like that too. But take a look on the bottom here. Now this is an older model. I think it came out um, before 2005, so it's uh, been out a while. They they stopped making it a while ago too, especially since it was limited. But uh, real nice, kind of cool with the, the green engines. And again, there's the Puma emblem or insignia. Now, I guess you'd say emblem. It's got the little Puma jumping over the A there to the left. And let me take a little bit closer look at the Puma there. There we go. Kind of cool. But uh, that pretty much does it. Now there is your DBA 737-300. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at one of my older planes. I'm um, going to be reviewing a few planes here that I've had for a while. And um, again, hope you enjoy them. Uh, next, uh, let's see, I thought I had an announcement to make, but... I guess I didn't. I've had a day of interviewing, so I'm going to probably say a few things in these reviews that you're going to go, what the hell is he talking about? It's like, well, probably because I'm exhausted. <laughs> but um, anyway, uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Throw a like in there. Don't forget to share. And I will see you guys in the next video. Okay? Later.